Man, it has been a while since I've made a video. I've kind of forgotten my positioning here and getting that all laid out. All even, there we go. Nice. If you're like me, you're probably a man in your 30s or your 40s who started to feel like his relationships with his buddies, his guy friends have started to disappear from his life. It might be because you've been in a relationship for a long time, or maybe you've moved, or maybe just, you know, work and other things get in the way, and you aren't having as much connection or time with your male friends as you used to when you were younger. I think this is a pretty common predicament, and it's something that a lot of men don't talk about in their lives, that we start to lose the connections with other men who are very important to us. So in this video today, I wanna to talk about why I believe that men lose their relationships with other men, what we can do about it, and how we can start to rebuild or grow new relationships with our guy friends in our lives. This is a really essential part of our development and our mental health in our life, and that's why I wanna create this video, because it's something I've experienced firsthand, having to rebuild and grow new male relationships, and I think it's something that if we don't do it, it starts to affect the way way our society functions. It becomes unhealthy in some respects because we start to feel uncomfortable being as masculine as we need to be. One of the things that I've noticed, and I'm speaking for myself here just as much as any other man, is that men are bad at staying connected to other men. It's just something that we don't necessarily think about, we don't do proactively, and our relationships with each other tend to dwindle and fade quite easily. If you contrast this with women, women are much better at staying in contact with each other. They make plans together, they go to events together, they connect and chat to each other a lot more, and they share their lives together. Whereas men tend to become more solitary and isolated as they get older. I don't know why this is, I think whether it's a genetic thing or it's a societal thing, but it just seems that men don't have that ability to connect and to stay in touch with other men the same way that women do with other women. And I believe this is an important thing to recognize because men need to be around other men. I don't know about you, but there's just times where I miss being around my buddies. When you're in a relationship and you have a partnership with someone, you find that you spend a lot more time with that person and you start to forget about or you start to neglect your other relationships in your life. It's only if you've been through a breakup or you've had to move or something like that that you realize, wow, I don't have a lot of guy friends in my life anymore. I don't have those guys that I can just call up and go and watch a game with or go and do something fun with or just hang out with. It's not something that's part of my life like it used to be. This is especially prevalent in your 30s and 40s and beyond because as we get older, we tend to get into couples, we tend to get more settled in our lives and we do forget about those male to male connections that are very crucially important. Another thing I wanna say is that I believe that masculine energy is healthy. It's something that we all need as men in our lives. If we're only around women or we're only in sort of feminine environments, nothing wrong with that, but it does diminish the masculine part of who we are. We need to be masculine at times. We need to have jokes with our friends and do kind of guy stuff. It's just part of mental health. It's part of being yourself. And if you avoid that masculine energy or it diminishes in your life, you start to feel it. You don't feel like yourself anymore. And so that's why I believe it's very important to have male friends and to connect with other men as much as you can and to keep those connections in your life. So speaking for myself, I've been through this experience several times. When I've moved country, I've had to meet a bunch of new guy friends. When I got divorced several years ago, I realized that I didn't have any buddies. I'd spent so much time in my relationship and with my couple friends that when I started to divorce from that and to start to build my own life again, I realized I didn't have those guys in my life who I could turn to and depend upon. So I've had to rebuild and to grow new male relationships just the same as you're probably looking to do in your life. So I have three different ideas, things that have really helped me to grow new relationships with other men and hopefully they'll help you as well to think in a different way and to start to act and to grow those connections that you want. So the first idea that I have for you is to focus on activities. Now I mentioned this in another video about making new friendships, but I think it's especially important if you're trying to make new guy friends. As a man, other men will bond with you more if you're doing an activity. Men don't tend to just sit and converse as well as comfortably as women do. Some men do, but typically men don't do that. They tend to focus around interests. That's why you see so many men enjoying talking about sports or watching sports together or doing an activity, like if you're traveling together or if you're working on a project together 
together. You find that you bond a lot more because the focus isn't just on the relationship, it's on the activity. So what I would suggest in your life, if you're looking to make new guy friends, is to find activities that you're personally interested in. It could be a sport, it could be a new hobby, it could be traveling, it could be learning a new skill, whatever it is, something in your life that you know you would like to do that other men potentially could do with you. What you'll find is if you pursue that activity first, you naturally start to be around more men and you will start to bond and to become connected to those guys and have more opportunities to hang out in the future. The second idea that took me a long time to learn, which sounds kind of corny, but is to become a good person. Now, if you think about the people in your life who you like being around, generally they're good guys, right? They're people who are what you would call stand-up guys. They're people who have good character, good personality, they're interesting, they live a full life. They're not boring, they're not depressed, they're not angry, they're not cynical. If you find that you are starting to go down that slope of negativity or feeling like your life is starting to diminish, you'll find that less people wanna be around you than in the past. So you have to work on yourself. You have to become a good person, someone of value first that people wanna be around. Now there's a lot of ways that you can do this. You can do personal development. You can work on yourself physically, get yourself in a better physical shape. You can start to learn new interests like we were talking about before. There's all different ways that you can do it, but the more you become what I call a stand-up guy, someone with good character, someone who treats people well, someone who lives a full life, the more likely you are to attract more guy friends to you. Like attracts like, and if you want better guy friends in your life, you have to be a better guy first. So beginning with yourself by becoming a better person is a great way to attract more great men into your life. Another part of being a good person is to make sure that you connect with the women in your male friends' lives. If you only bother to talk to the men, you'll find that the women won't allow you to be around their men. The women are very picky about who they want their men to be around, and so you have to make friends and bond with the women just as much as you wanna bond with the men. This is a crucial part of being part of a regular community, especially as you get older, because most people are part of a couple, and if you wanna be friends with another guy, you have to be connected to the woman in his life as well, or his partner. It's very important to have that connection and to make the effort as well. So at the base of it, remember, if you are a good person, you're more likely to attract more good people into your life. So work on yourself first, and then you'll find that you become more attractive to other people. And the third lesson for me is to become a leader. I've talked about this before in other videos as well, but the idea of being generative, being a person who plans events and makes things happen in your life. If you are the leader of a group, you'll find that other people will follow you. This is very important in male to male relationships because generally speaking, no one wants to take the lead or to try to boss each other or control each other. But you don't have to necessarily control other guys, but you can encourage them and get them to do things with you by being more of a leader in the group of people you want to create. You might find that most guys, as they get a little bit older in your life, they tend to want to get permission from their partner before they do something. You've probably experienced this. You say, hey, let's go out on Tuesday. They say, oh, I've got to check with my wife or my girlfriend or my partner. You'll find if you start to create these events and fun things to do for both couples and for guys, you become more of a natural leader, you'll attract more men to you. Another part of being a leader is introducing guys to each other. So if you know two guys who you think would get on well, plan an event where the three of you can hang out or set up a group event, some sort of day where you can all go and hang out together, just a bunch of guys. You'll find that the men will bond with each other and it will connect you all more together. There's something really valuable about a community of men who will know each other, who can laugh together, can support each other, and can be part of each other's lives in that nurturing way. Now, you might even look at something like a men's group that can be valuable for some people or some sort of activity where you're doing personal development together. That can be another great way to do it as well. But it doesn't have to be that. It can be something as simple as organizing a day to go and watch a sports event. But invite a group of guys and you'll find that they bond together and you are recognized as the leader because you planned the event. This is a really important point in life. Leadership is a real macro skill that works not only in business, but in relationships and in your personal life as well. The more you become a leader, the more you plan things, the more you ask and invite people to do things, you will find that people start to rally around you and want to follow you. But it's up to you to begin with and to think of yourself as a leader. 
That's really crucial. You have to see yourself as a leader and you have to act like one and other men will want to rally around you. So hopefully these three ideas are useful for you. You know, to finish today, I wanted to say that I think it's normal in our lives to lose friendships. Some friendships do fade from our lives as we move, we change, we grow as people, but it's important that we build new ones. If you are lacking male friends in your life, if you don't have any guy friends, that's okay, but you have to be the one to take the initiative to grow new connections with people. And it starts simply by getting involved in activities, working on yourself and becoming a better person. And then finally, taking the mantle of leadership and inviting and being generative to other guys so that they wanna hang out with you and do things together. So my friends, I hope that this has been valuable for you. If you're a man watching this, I hope you reach out to me and tell me what you think or what experiences you've had. And I encourage you to get out there and connect with other men. It's a healthy, natural, fun part of life. My name is Daniel Mitson Short. Thanks as always for watching. If you like what we're doing here, please consider subscribing and becoming part of our community. We'd love to have you with us. And as always, thank you for improving yourself.